Hi guys, this is Thierry from Headway Rocket. Today I'm going to show you our testing manual block. To start with, I'm going to install the plugin. Plugin, add new, upload. And I'm going to go get the file that you would have downloaded from Headway Extend. Install now. Activate the plugin. Go step so I see the plugin uh, headway tester manual block. It's activated. I'm going to jump into headway visual editor green mode. Sweet. So, first of all, I'm going to draw a block. As any third party headway blocks, uh, you'll find them on the more blocks. Yeah, tester manual. I'm going to save and go to manage mode. Great, so this is the default layout uh, once the block is installed. I'll show you the option panel. You have two tabs on the left hand side, test and manual content and configure layout. Uh, we're going to start by configuring the layout. For the first uh, example, I'm going to show you a grid layout. So essentially what I want to show you is just the flexibility that you have with the block. So block layout stays grid. Column. Uh, I'm going to rather go for a two column. Content width, I'm going to leave it to 100. Row spacing, I'm going to add a little bit for this example, 30 pixels. And the column spacing, I'm going to add it, make it 3%. Great. I'm going to show you that you can actually change the image position to whatever you want. So by default, it's set to left, but I could have it on top or on the right, bottom, left and change the details to outside of the content so it goes next to the image you could disable details as well enable you can always disable or enable whatever you need besides the content so like for example if I don't want the image there we go great I also want the uh, picture to be a little bit bigger I'm going to make it 70 by 70. There we go. And I'm going to add the link as well. Link placement, read on link. Save. Here we go. So I have my two columns, six testimonial with the link, image on top, and details next to image. Let's say now I wanted to have the image on the right hand side. I'm going to click on settings and configure layout. I'm going to go client image and then set to right. Uh, there's a couple of more options. I'm not going to go through all the settings. So I'm going to enter content. So I see by default there's a title and a subtitle. Uh, you can make it your own. We just thought that having a default one is more explanatory. I'm going to add images. Here we go. So I'm going to show you how to add uh, one image and then I'll post the video for the rest. So, James Brown, and I can see the image is reside properly. Okay, I'm going to post the video and add all the uh, images. Um, I did all the images, saving, and showing you what it looks like. There we go. Again, I could have the image on top, bottom, left, I have a read-on link, I have the details next to the image, whatever I wish to have. Um, now I'm going to show you the slider layout. So let's say we are on the grid and I'm going to switch over to the slider. Great. So we can see the layout has changed and the slider options have appeared. The only thing I did here was to change the layout from grid to slider. And that's the result. There you go. Here I have a slider. You can enable the autoplay. The speed of the autoplay. So like for example, if I wanted speed 4 seconds. You can choose the slider control position. So like for example, uh, it could be top right. You see, they've appeared here on the top right. 
we can also disable it. Like before, I can choose if I want the details inside or outside. There we go. So now with the, the details outside of the content, the slider with the controller on the right hand side, and I can go through each testimonials and I can slide it with the controllers as well. Sweet, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us. There's also the support forum for the blog. We're very active and open for um, feedback. And enjoy the blog.